Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's episode of Will It Blow Up, we're talking LEDs. When you first get your starter kit, you surely are taught that you are supposed to put a resistor between the LED and your Arduino board. And uh, if you do this often enough, you might go out there and buy a pack of 330 ohm resistors or 220 ohm resistors and dutifully stick them in there. Or if you're a little bit fancier, you might go online and do some calculations with the forward voltage and all that stuff and get just the perfect resistor for your situation. But if you browse around the very respected Arduino.cc forums, you will see person after person asking, do I really need to put a resistor in here? Do I really need to put a resistor for each LED and questions like that? And over and over and over again, you will hear people say yes. When asked why, people cite reasons such as your LED will burn out, your output pin of your Arduino will burn out, your entire Arduino will burn out from sending too much voltage to ground, the world will fall apart, aliens will come down from the sky, all different reasons people give you for needing a resistor on an LED. So let's find out what happens if we don't pull one. Okay, so what I decided to do was to use a Mega because that is the proper tool for blinking an LED. And uh, I put a blink sketch on one and a solid LED on on the other one. I have two brand new LEDs from starter kits that have not been connected to anything and we are going to connect them between pins 48 and ground on the mega to use those higher number pins and uh, i'm going to plug this in I've just done a test fit but never fired these up so i added a couple screens to these things so that we can see if they reboot and we are going to add a little bit of royalty free disco music and fire this thing up contact <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to let these things sit for a couple hours and come back and see what happens. Okay, it is a full day later, and as you can see, they're actually even pretty much in sync. I figured that if one of these things had rebooted or something like that, there's no way that they would still be in sync. These are not connected in any way. They're just two... Uh, Arduino is running two different scripts. Um, so... Everything seems to be operating fine. The LEDs are apparently about the same brightness and stuff like that. I was trying to think of how I could test if there was actually damage going on to the LEDs. And um, so what I thought about is I had, that was a five pack here and I've tested these and uh, the resistance between these three control LEDs doesn't seem to be um, similar at all, but the forward voltage is. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and test to figure out what the forward voltage is. These read between 1.91 and 1.94 volts, and I would assume that if there was damage going on that this thing would be weakened. So uh, let's grab this one out. Let's go ahead and turn these off. This one comes back at 1.93 forward voltage, so it is right dead smack in the range of the other one. And let's pull this one. And 1.92, so right in the same range. So I am not going to sit here and tell you that this thing has not damaged the LEDs at all, but it has not apparently damaged the LEDs 24 hours later. So what I wanted to see next is very unscientifically just check to see if there was any kind of degradation in the ability of this Arduino to drive the digital pin after being forced to light this LED all night without uh without a resistor on it and so what i did is i hooked up a relay to the pin that i was using for the led and one to a control pin that had never been hooked to anything as far as i know and uh so we're going to fire up the relay and make sure that we're getting nice consistent clicks as you can see the pin that i torture tested is having no problem energizing the relay and turning on the led we're getting nice consistent clicks on both channels, not a problem at all. 
So what kind of conclusions can we draw from this? Uh, not a ton. Um, I, should you use a resistor with your LEDs? Absolutely. Everybody who knows what they're talking about says that you should use a resistor. Use the dang resistor. They cost a penny. It takes you a minute. Um, go ahead and use the resistor. So the question is about long-term damage. How would you guys measure the damage that is happening to these LEDs and the damage that is happening to the Arduino. I am more than willing to do a long-term test. We can use different colors of LEDs. We can use different sizes of LEDs. I'm open to doing whatever for a long-term test to see what happens if we just let her rip. So anyway, I was just goofing around and I wanted to share my results. So hey, thanks for watching. Let me know what you wanna do for a long-term test and have a Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.